Hey, welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. Right, so this video serves as an introduction to vitamins. By simple definition, vitamins are a group of chemically diverse organic compounds that an organism requires for normal metabolism. Apart from a few exceptions, for example, vitamin D, the human body cannot synthesize vitamins on its own in sufficient amounts. This means that we need to uh, supply these vitamins through meals, right, through diet. Vitamins are micronutrients that do not provide energy like macronutrients, for example, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, right? But instead, they have very specific biochemical roles. For example, most of them, you will see them are uh, acting as core enzymes, right? Okay, so there are two groups of vitamins, water-soluble vitamins and fat-soluble vitamins, right? So let's start with fat-soluble vitamins. The first one is vitamin A. This is also known as retinol. The second one is vitamin D, also known as calciferol, right? I just mentioned that our bodies can synthesize vitamin D. The third one is vitamin E, also known as tocopherol. And last but not least, there is vitamin K, also known as phytomenadione. Right, so uh, there are a few things which you need to know. Uh, accumulation and toxicity okay, uh, almost exclusively with fat-soluble vitamins because like these vitamins are absorbed at the same time as fats, right? So if a patient has some malabsorption syndromes, right, uh, then they, they are at risk of uh, uh, fat-soluble vitamin deficiencies, right? Okay, let's talk about water-soluble vitamins, right? The first one is vitamin B1, also known as thiamine, and the, the active form, which is a core enzyme, is thiamine pyrophosphate or TPP. The next one is vitamin B2. Vitamin B2 is also known as riboflavin, right? And the core enzymes are FAD and FMN. The next one is vitamin B3, also known as nicotine or niacin, and the core enzyme is NAD positive, right? There is no vitamin B4, so we, we skip, then we go to vitamin B5. Vitamin B5 is also known as pantothenic acid, and the core enzyme is actually core enzyme A, right? The next one is vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxine, right? This vitamin, like the active form, is a pyridoxal phosphate, or PLP in short. The next one is vitamin B7, biotin. The next one is vitamin B9, also known as folic acid or folate. The next one is vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin or cyanocobalamin, right? Uh, and last but not least, there is vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid. Right, so there are a few things which you need to remember. Uh, most of these water-soluble vitamins cannot be stored in our bodies. They are easily washed away, except two. That's vitamin B9 and vitamin B12. And as I indicated here, uh, vitamin B9 can be stored for three to four months in the body, right? That's vitamin B9. And vitamin B to uh, vitamin B12 can be stored for three to four years, right? Okay, just hold on, right? Thank you so much. In the next video, we are going to dissect these vitamins one by one, starting with vitamin A. So stay tuned. Please, if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos.